Hi everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I'm gonna have a look at Microsoft Whiteboard and try to turn it into a Kanban board. Now, what's a Kanban board, you might be asking? Well, it's a project board that allows you to track your tasks as they go through their life cycle from the planning stage all the way through to them being finished. There are lots of apps out there that do this job very well. Things like Asana and Trello are really good at this. So I'm not suggesting Whiteboard as a replacement for those apps. I am just thought it would be a bit fun if we tried to recreate what they do, but in Whiteboard. So if you're not familiar with Microsoft Whiteboard already, I've done a video, and if you hit the link in the top right-hand corner now, that will take you to it, and you can familiarize yourself. If you're ready to go, then let's start. What I wanna do here is create a three-column table. I want to show what's to be done, what's in progress, and what's done. So to do that, I'm gonna use the ruler by clicking on ruler. I'm gonna use two fingers to adjust it so it's at zero, so it should be a straight line roughly. I'm gonna take my black pen and I'm just gonna run right across the top there. Now I'm gonna switch it around using two fingers again to 90 degrees and I'm gonna roughly split this into three. So there we go, I've got my three columns. Now I'm going to I'm going to move my ruler over here. In fact, I don't need it anymore. I'm going to turn it off. And then I'm going to label each of the columns. So this one is to do. This one is doing. And this one is done. Now I can do two taps, which will take me to see the whole canvas. Now you can see my my lovely table there. Now for each of the columns, I wanna put tasks in those columns. And to do that, I'm gonna use these text notes. So down on the plus button on the ribbon or the toolbar here, I can hit text note and it will take me through to my text note. I don't have to type anything for now, I can just hit done. And that's gonna place a text note on my canvas. I can just press it. I can use the dot to resize it and then I can place it in the column that I'm interested in. So you can see how um, I could create lots of these and these could be the tasks that have been assigned. So if I click on with one touch and then press the edit button, that will take me through to the edit page where I can type. So say this was connected to a task, say write script for video 260. Okay, so we could put in information about that task, so three hours work, it's assigned to Matt, and we could put other information in there. Because this is iOS, we can use emojis here. So if there was something, perhaps you wanted to highlight the fact that it was time-based, you could use a little time icon, and so on. So once you're okay, you can add that back into the to-do list. Now, all you need to do as these jobs get done is select them and then move them into the doing column. So once that job started, it's in the doing column. Now I'm gonna create a few more tasks so you can see how this might look in a real project. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created a few more items and you can see I've got ones in each of the columns. And if I zoom in, if I do a pinch and zoom, you can see I've actually color coded them now. So I've got the yellow ones which are assigned to Matt, blue ones that are assigned to Polly. And for obviously for each of these, I can edit them. So I can go in and change the details if I want to. And I can also move them around. So I can just touch on and move. So as the work gets done, it can move through the columns. Now I can also invite people. So if I wanted to invite people to my whiteboard, I can so they can come in and see the progress as well. This could be a thing that you regularly use at meetings. Now I've also created a more detailed board here. So this time I've got six columns and this could be useful to say a software development team. And you can see I've color coded all the notes and down here I've got the legend. So you could get quite intricate in how you could display your tasks within the columns. This was just a bit of fun. We've looked at whiteboard and how we might create a Kanban board with it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And if you like the video, hit subscribe. 
and thanks for watching.